Good morning, guys. Um, today is Saturday. Um, we are going to see my sister and my niece and nephew, and Matt's gonna go fishing with his brother. Um, and we're going to have a fun day. Um, because it's like 65 degrees out and yeah, we never have really, we never really have warm days anymore. Of course I have my Duncan. Um, you may think this video is a little bit different because I actually look like a girl. Like I'm wearing makeup, I did my hair, um, and I'm wearing like a cute outfit and a jean jacket from like 8th grade that I just discovered. So... And I'm in my kitchen because my kitchen literally has this big window and it's like the best lighting ever. Um, so, yeah. Um, we are really excited for today because we like to be outside. So Matt's at work right now and I'm waiting for him to get off and then we're going to head down to Jersey. And then I'm probably going to vlog this whole entire day. Um, and then tomorrow I'm getting my hair colored actually. I'm getting lighter blonde. Um, because this hair has been this color, whatever this color is, like, orangey, yellow, for like, actually, it probably might be a year now, because I got my hair done last spring, or summer, it might have been spring, um, by the same girl, but she's amazing, and now she does eyelash, eyelash extensions, so I might get them with her, um, before the wedding. Say. So there's one thing that I really wanted to do, but I know I'm not going to do it because I don't have be scared, <laughs> basically, to do this. But I wanted to get my hair chopped. Like, I wanted to chop my hair, like, right here, like, shoulder length. But I'm scared because, like, the wedding's coming up and then people, like, I've said things to people and they said that I should get a cut, but after the wedding, that way, like, I have more, like, um ideas like to, for hairstyles for the wedding because if my hair is short I like obviously I'm gonna have to wear it down um even though like the back of my dress is like has a lot of design I'm still gonna wear my hair up but I really I think I should keep it long for the wedding and then get it cut like after the wedding but I'll show you how short I wanted to get it cut and I Matt wants me to chop my hair so bad like he really wants me to just chop it he wants me to get like a bob like short in the back and long in the front but that's way too short so I came across like this picture sorry that the because of the um the window in the back but you can kind of see it it's like really choppy like right here and she's got like layers right like fate going around her face so I really wanted to get that, but I don't think I'm going to before the wedding because I don't want to um, not have a lot of like choices for hairstyle. I'm going to prank Matt and pretend that I got my hair chopped. I was going to go out and buy like a wig and like like make it actually look realistic like with the color that I'd be getting, like the blonde, biolage and everything, and then FaceTime him like while on, I'm on the video with you guys and then like show his reaction but I really don't think it'd be considered a prank because he wants me to get my hair cut that short but then again it kind of could be a prank because he doesn't think that I would go through with it which I'm probably not going to like this time around but I would love a change maybe it won't be considered like a prank but I'll still like film like his reaction of like me chopping my hair so I'll go out and buy like one of the, like the really cheap wigs I don't even know where you'd get it from but like make it look like my hair is chopped but like still the same color make it look realistic as possible and I won't show him in person because he probably will know that it's a wig so I'll FaceTime him and then like I'll um, videotape like the reaction so you guys can see like I don't want to make a video just about it because of the subject and like it's a really sensitive subject for me but I also wanted to like talk about it real quick and now that I'm doing nothing and I'm actually ready before Matt gets home then I can talk to you guys about this but so you don't know this but last week on Monday specifically I lost someone that's near and dear to my heart um, and as you know I work in a dementia unit I can't help it but get close to these residents and build relationships with them because that's the type of person I am. I'm compassionate and caring and it's 
like they say to not have a relationship with them but it's kind of hard because you work with them eight hours a day five days a week and if anything more than that so it's really hard not to have a relationship with them and I think doing not only being a caregiver is the most lowest paying job because we do so much for so little I still consider this position and job as like a um, privilege because these families are letting you as a caregiver have their lives in your hands every single day and they leave and they go home and they wonder if their like mother father sister brother whatever is in good care so I take my job really seriously I have great work ethic and I build relationships with these residents so I can't help it but one in particular I can't say names or anything this one woman who was we bonded from the beginning and I don't want to cry on camera so I'm gonna try not to but she was the greatest person that I have ever come across and I'm telling you she she was not able to tell me that she loved me or she wasn't able to talk to me um, because of the disease and how it progressed in her so quickly but just knowing her and being around her for almost two years had led me to believe that she loved me too and we had a connection from the beginning like me and her had a connection from the beginning and we had a bond and everything that I've experienced with her was like again a privilege like her family let me take care of her and and love her and basically just be by her side every single day while this disease progressed and and it was really hard for them and I can't say that I understand it because I don't have any family members who were in that position um, of the sickness but I can say that I felt their pain because I've grown so close to this resident and her family and not only are they the most kind thoughtful generous innocent selfless people that I've ever met this woman this resident was amazing like if you know her you would know like she will always have a special place in my heart and I feel like a lot of people just don't understand the Alzheimer's or dementia they just don't understand it and it and some family members it's really hard for them to cope because they can't they may not remember who they are or what their name is like let alone so I know it's really hard for her family to see her her disease progress in her because I know I I know deep down like before I even met her she was amazing and caring and sweet and kind and I may not been able to have a conversation with her but I knew and we connected from the beginning we would sit outside for hours in the summer holding hands she was the most wonderful woman that I have ever come across and she was beautiful like she was absolutely beautiful she had the most flawless skin the most beautiful smile the cutest laugh and she's someone that I'm gonna hold dear to my heart forever and I have gained another angel last week and although that I'm sad that I can't physically see her or hold her hand or laugh with her or even see those big brown beautiful eyes I know that she's looking over me and I have so many angels that are looking over me and I think of her every day and I will not stop thinking about her and although I've had so many losses at this job I knew this one would hit me the hardest because she meant so much to me and I love her so much and I know she's not here with me anymore but she's not suffering anymore she's free she's able to walk talk sing laugh dance drink wine um because I know her daughter said that she used to love drinking wine and riding horses and so now she's able to do all those things so so I'm proud of myself that I didn't cry because I've been crying every single day since I found out but the only thing that's getting me through this loss is knowing that she's 
free that she's free of this disease and she's not suffering anymore and I'm really happy to say that so but I will miss her dearly and I think of her all the time a little part of my life that just happened this past week so but all right well that is taking forever to get home so all right see you guys hey pretty people what's going on guys welcome back to our channel um i'm driving so matt's gonna be vlogging i don't know how much we're really gonna vlog like us driving but what's going on got a fresh haircut well not fresh um, like two days ago I kind of have cool pink whip. and green, so it doesn't match. Pink, that's red. No, that's pink. And blue. Pink and green. Come on, man. We're going fishing. We're going guys, there. guys, we're in the um, Cool Whip today. This is a better car. You know, look at this, John. It's 2007, base model, John. It's fun. We're going to go off-roading, too. Guys, get yourself a man that pumps your gas for you. Such a good man. Can you say cheese? Yeah, she's confused. That's okay. She's still cute. We're at a lake right now. What? Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Why are you so shy? Tell YouTube what you're doing. He's fishing. He's fishing. All right, let me see. Oh, he looks cute. He's he's scared that what? people with him head. What's his name? He don't have any name. Well, pick a name. Name him. He's your friend now. My oh, one. I don't oh. bring your friend over here. Just <laughs> keep it over there. Okay? Name him. Name? Mom, to put it in the bag. Okay. The well, bag? you gotta name him first. Oh, I have a bag. I name it TV Mask. PJ Masks. <laughs> Everything's PJ Masks. Mike got no things. Put it in your backpack. It will get, it will, it will get. <laughs> Abigail's like, really? Is that gone? Why are you in <laughs> PJ Masks, he's on a run. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> PJ. You're the cameraman now. I don't think I want to see your face that long. <laughs> Still, whoa, Abigail, come here, what the? <laughs> I don't see that. There. You want to see it? Hmm? Flip down the screen. Hey, Mommy, I see you. I see you. Got the case in here. <laughs> oh, I already thought about it. <laughs> I already saw it. Mommy got two flowers. Hmm? She got two flowers. She got two flowers. Take it. Take it forever. <laughs> Hello. You're so cute. Thank you. You vlogging? You vlogging? I'll just let it record. It's going to go. Money fart. She's greedy. Mom life. She's 